Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all well and welcome to Catball Park. Uh, so it's been a few days since I uploaded my uh, tutorial on blocking ARW creation in R Factor 2. So I thought what we do here is have a 14 car race using the Megans. So these were the absolute worst cars to race here with. It's a combination of the AI line that was here and uh, the old tyre and suspension model that these cars use, so they just bounce all over the place. So they'd shoot off the track everywhere. Um, so hopefully you can see over the next eight laps that these guys are now competitive, they block, uh, and you can have some fun racing here with them. So um, I did run a qualifier, I placed last, uh, I had an absolute shocker, I hit coppice, at the exit of coppice, I, hit, I clipped the grass and spun. So uh, start from the back, it might actually work out well though, because we'll let the AI kind of sort themselves out, and then you can see how they will make it through certain corners that they wouldn't have done before. So I've got these uh, set to 108 um, skill here uh, and the rest of my normal settings so I'll upload that player.json file um, we might just go a little bit slower through some of these sections the issue you've got with cable is it is just so it's so narrow and it's, it's very hard to race side by side through here um, but as you can see they all made it through Coppice and Charlie's there, they wouldn't normally have done that, they'd have speared off into the grass and then come straight back across the, the track and taken out all the other cars. Um, they'll probably do the same thing here at Parks, they'll bog down a little bit just because of the nature of the circuit. Um, but hopefully you'll see that they'll they'll start to get their act together and uh, you can have some fun racing. There's probably still going to be accidents, that's just purely how I've got my player.json file set. So the I do have crashes, I just think it makes it more realistic. Um, but hopefully you'll see some of the blocking lines as well start to happen. Old mate's made a mistake there, he's been forced out. Okay, we come up to the mountain. Old mate's bogged down a bit. Oh. So in the past they wouldn't have made it through here at all. Um, not even in single file, let alone side by side as they're trying to do. Oh, oh, what have they done? See, there's that old tire model. See the car bouncing then? So there's only so much you can do, unfortunately. Uh, especially if you want to race cars like these. Mate made a mistake then. Okay, heading up Park Straight. In 11th, made up a couple of spots. As you can see, they're quite late on the brakes through there. There's no way I'll with them through Chris Curve. They're just too quick through here for me. So they're hitting low 126s in qualifying with 108 AI. I'll let them run for about half an hour's worth of practice. Um, with the uh, the learning setting in the play.json file, obviously they create a uh, track file. So well worth using that because they'll get quicker and quicker um, as time goes on. And then when they come back, they'll keep building on that file as well. does make your load times a little bit longer I've found, but I think it's well worth it. You get a much more enjoyable race. Oh, I might get old mate here, he's gone to block. So there's the blocking line. Oh. Couple of people blocking each other there as you can see. Oh, there's that tyre model. It's showing itself again. that up. So I've created a blocking line through here as well so they move onto the right to block into park. What I might do at some stage is revisit this track. Um, now the, the line's pretty pretty good and uh, create some corridors to something from doing silly overtakes like through gooseneck here. Should probably do the same thing through Hall Bend as well. Have we got past? Yes. He's gone to block there. And it worked. Oh, 
<laughs> so he's moved on to the blocking line then. And there. Oh, mate's off. What happened then? Cannibal Park's got a very interesting history. Um, it was originally purchased in 1928 um, as Parklands. So it used to be the site of Cadwell Hall, but um, that was demolished. And obviously you got little tips of the hat to that with uh, Hall Bends. Um, it was originally going to be used for uh, shooting events, but um, the owner's son was really into motorcycle racing. So I started to hold, hold some uh, motorcycle races there. I think, the f I think the first one was 1929. Um, and then some proper official events, 1936, 1937, 1938. 37's event got rained out. Um, and 38, I believe that there was the first time they actually put down proper concrete. So um, that was the very first layout of the circuit, 1938. The track as we know it now um, was first uh, used in 1961. Um, so built the year before, obviously very, very quick construction um, back then. And it, it hasn't really changed too much uh, since then there's been there's been five updates to the circuit or five changes to the circuit but none of them have really changed the layout uh, all that much um, obviously a huge history with motorcycle racing um, it's, it's typically considered too narrow to hold traditional motor uh, car racing here there is some but um, obviously nothing nothing um, like top tier here which is unfortunate um, it's a pity it's not a little bit wider I think be some uh, some epic um, motor car battles here if it was. Oh, might add a little bit of a go then. So I'll show you uh, at the bottom of Mansfield here. You'll see where motorcycle track deviates. Is a quite a hard um, chicane. Oh, I've overrun that. So did they. So yeah, that's over to the right there, that's the hard chicane. Oh, oh mate's trying to cut me off. He has, yep. Oh. Very hard to get these cars to, to work through Hall Bend because of their tyre and suspension model. Um, they're, they're just so... Oh. They're just so bouncy. They always get air there, so I um, had to work on that a fair bit. What I might do though, one thing I found that really helped um, when creating the uh, the pass for this track was to actually use a front wheel drive car. So um, I might go into, I might do a very short video on how to choose or select and set up um, a different car for your um, path creation. Um, there's a couple of little gotchas things you just need to be aware of especially with uh, sound if you if you're like me really rely on sound as an indication of what the car's doing so you can put a decent lap down um, some things you need to be aware of there so I'll cover those in the uh, in the video there you go he's gone to block through um, Mansfield Stuff that up. There you go, there's that tyre and suspension model there, so that car bouncing all over the place. So there's only so much you can do when trying to correct um, for a car that behaves like that, unfortunately. saw it again there just bouncing all over the place I really wish that um, 397 had come back and update these cars I think they're an absolutely brilliant car it's a shame that they haven't gone back and done it oh. 
<laughs> there's that aggression set setting kicking in. And there's that suspension kicking in. Hopefully these guys take each other out. Yes! Go, 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 go! There's a horrible line through there, sorry guys. Oh, big hair. He's gone to block me. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, up to seventh. I don't know why I downshifted then. We might get him now. Clean air now. <coughs> oh. My brake pressure might be up a little bit too high. Get him now, he's made a mistake. Oh, across the line. Whoa, just got him. Awesome, wow. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, hopefully, you can see the AI is a little bit better here now. Um, much more realistic and a lot more fun to drive with. Um, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, hit the uh, subscribe button and the notification bell, and I'll be sure to upload more content soon. Thanks, everyone. Bye.